Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us see the relation between convolution and correlation. Both convolution and correlation are mathematical tools having a striking similar. Of course, the two integrals are closed related to obtaining the cross correlation. Okay, guys, this is really something, something, something. So, basically, the basic difference between correlation and convolution is that I'll be just explaining you in terms of words, guys. If you want, you can read this whole one page thing. I'll be just explaining you in words. Basically, convolution. When there are two signals in convolution, you will be first changing the parameter. In both the situation, in convolution and correlation, you will be changing the parameter. Whereas the second step, in convolution, you will be shifting one of the signal. So let me assume that I am shifting the first signal completely. And now I'll be moving this signal from minus infinity to infinity and I will be calculating the multiples of all the matching signals on one on one other overlaps I will be multiplying them and I will be adding them to get my convolution whereas in correlation there will be no shifting no reversal you will be directly shifting it one on another and you will be multiplying so the only difference is we will be doing y of minus t so the only difference is that for convolution we do y of t is equal to y of minus t where we don't follow this in correlation that's the main difference guys so you just write the formula of convolution you write the formula of correlation and show them so here also you can just identify guys so that's what i have just written here then if y of t is equal to y of minus t that is nothing but if these both are equal that indicates that the signal is even signal or even function then the convolution result and convolution, sorry, the correlation result will be absolutely same. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on the topic that we are discussing. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through detection of periodic signals in the presence of noise. So if there is any noise, how we can identify it. Okay, guys, thank you. Thanks for watching.